Oh my gosh, especially if you're paying $108 for a bra. This is like one of the very few Lululemon bras as someone with a bigger cup size feels supported. Okay, finally a positive, woo! I talk positive about Lululemon, what? That's crazy, welcome to the party. Hey, what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Ashley, if you're new here, make sure to give it a like if you're enjoying it, hit that subscribe button if you wanna stick around for more. Thank you guys so much for all the love on my last anti-haul, if you didn't see it, make sure to go give that a quick watch. And I do have a playlist of all of my Lululemon content, which I will put up here as well. Okie dokie, so I brought up this video idea a little while back and a lot of people were interested, so here we go. Lululemon bras explained. I'm thinking of making this a whole series where I sit down and just chat you through all of Lululemon's products. I will continue on this series as well and do leggings. I've been getting a lot of questions on joggers, so I was thinking of sitting down and chatting through that. Lots more anti hauls coming too. Okay, sports bras. So, Lululemon has definitely revamped the whole way that they market their sports bras. So, whenever you go into a store, now just the world makes so much more sense. So now when you go to the bra wall over at a Lululemon store, you have light support on the far left, and then as you go towards the right, it gets into high support. And each bra has like a mini education card kind of thing with light support for A to B cup or great for this so that even if someone isn't around to ask for help or if you don't feel like asking for help you can learn yourself and then also now when you go online which i am seeing right here there is this thing called a bra quiz which came out towards the end of last year i want to say so find your perfect bra size and i'm not going to go through it but basically you can like select a brand wow they, they have a lot of brand options and you can say your band and your cup size and then it just gives you an estimate of and what you would be in a Lululemon sports bra. So if you're unsure of sizing, questioning your sizing, I would highly recommend taking this quiz. It takes like a couple minutes, completely free of course. And it just, it just makes all of what I'm about to say makes so much more sense. So I would highly recommend if you're unsure of your size. Because before in the store, we would have this like little bra size chart on like if someone was to come in and we would help them guess what bra size they were or someone else was and it was like it had all these circles and it was like pretty confusing and very intimidating so this is great i mean for reference i'm a 34 double d and i typically do a size 8 in bras so that is that starting it off let's let's get some commentary go and let's start straight from the top here so we have the ever so classic energy bra so this is definitely a bra that I just think, I mean, it's a classic. If people come in and they're not too sure, don't really care about what bra they're trying on, I think the energy bra is a good middle ground. Medium support, B to D cup, like it says in the name. The only thing that I really want to emphasize with the energy bra is I've experienced it myself, but also a lot of guests that I've helped while working over at the store is sometimes the energy bra gives you a uniboob gonna leave it at that but overall just a good classic i'm not a big fan of it just because i just don't find it like incredibly supportive or flattering on my body type personally but still a good classic the like cloud bra is very new and it makes me so sad that this bra just does not work for me i put it on and i barely walked a step and it just was not holding anything in place and it made me very uncomfortable which is very sad because this fabric is incredible, incredible. It is one of the softest fabrics I've ever felt. Incredible, incredible. So if you do have a smaller cup size and you aren't looking for something super supportive, so many of my coworkers literally wear these on a daily basis as their normal bra. Um, so comfortable. I am just really sad that it's just not great for anything above a C cup, like the name says, just listen to it. It's not supportive at all. They also came out with a long line version, which I think I would personally be more interested in. Long lines are great because it does offer that band of extra coverage on the bottom. As well as in my opinion, I find that long lines offer a bit more support. So if you're looking for just a bit more fabric, still want the support, maybe even a little bit extra support, go with a long line. So the Leica Claw Bra, a, a lot of the bras actually come in a long line now. 
You won't always find them in the store. I would say the only one I consistently see at my store is the Energy Bra Long Line, which I'm sure we'll get into. Okay, the Flow Y Bra. So this, I, so it's made of Nulu, which is the same material as the Align fabric. So super soft, super delicate. Literally like great for yoga, great for small cup sizes. Yeah, that's it. Great for yoga, great for small cup sizes. Or if you like just aren't looking for anything with like a lot of extra frills, a lot of extra straps, bands, things like that. Just note that it is made out of Nulu. So it is gonna be a more delicate brushed fabric than some of the others. So yeah, definitely could not get away with wearing this one either. Thanks, Lulu. I think you'll soon see, I think I, there's like two bras that I consistently like and buy for myself, but we'll get into that. The Strongest Heart, I mentioned this in my last anti-haul. I would definitely be intrigued to try it on. I just have not gotten the opportunity. I don't have this in my store, but I would be interested to see how the side boobage is, how the straps are, like that neckline, is that comfortable? I don't know. If any of you know, let me know in the comments. Leave me a comment. Let's chat about it, because I sure don't know. This one also chatted about my last anti-haul. Um, I, mm, yeah, go watch that. This this pattern, I'm, mm. Okay, Free To Be Serene. So the Free To Be Serene definitely gives a bit more shape than the energy bra. So this one actually is considered light support whereas the energy is considered medium. Don't really know how accurate that is. In my opinion, they seem pretty interchangeable, except the Free To Be Serene does offer more support for bigger cup sizes. The thing with the Free To Be Serene, oh, okay, wait, I retract that. Yeah, the energy bra has like more banding on the bottom, so that's probably why it's more supportive. Anyway, the Free To Be Serene has like these seams in the front. Let me see if I can get, get a photo. Yeah, so it has these seams in the front and it definitely adds more shape so it doesn't give you a uniboob. Like I remember giving guests an energy bra and they're like, this is horrible. This squishes all of my back fat and then they try in the free to be serene and they're like, okay, wait, this actually isn't terrible. Again, really depends on your body proportions, on your comfort level. There are so many factors, but this one definitely offers a bit more shape. Okay, yeah, here's the energy bra long line. I definitely would prefer the Energy Bra Long Line over the normal Energy Bra just because I feel a bit more supported. So yeah, this says B to D cup. I mean, regardless if you're looking for just a classic bra, the Energy franchise, there's just so many different ones that they have now is, is a good option. This is like a ribbed one, which I actually think is kind of cool. The fabric is just ribbed. Like the name says, <laughs> nothing, too, nothing too fancy about that one. Okay, yeah, so here's the high neck. I got one of these at first, like before I started working for the company and I was so excited because I was like, this is great because especially when I do something like cycling, I like having a higher neck just so I feel more supportive. And I don't know, I just like was not a big fan. Like I just did not, like there wasn't much to it. It was just like one singular piece of fabric and there wasn't like, like there's no extra seams. I don't know. I personally didn't feel super supported in it, even as like a medium support. So, I mean, that's just my opinion. So take that with a grain of salt, but I'm sure if, like it says, if you are a B to D, lower B, maybe C range, this is a good medium support. Okay, finally a positive. Woo, I talk positive about the company, what? I talk positive about Lululemon, what? That's crazy, welcome to the party. The Ebb to Train is here. Hello, good morning. So the Ebb to Train is definitely my favorite. So I love it. It is like a crop top kind of vibe as well. High neck, long line. I feel very supported in this. I mean, I wouldn't say it's high support, but like for a normal workout, for cycling class, for whatever I am doing, I definitely feel supported for that in the Ebb to Train. The only thing to really note is sometimes the ribbing, I don't know why I'm doing this, I'm not wearing one today. Sometimes the ribbing on the bottom, like if I do end up wearing one pretty much all day, sometimes it like just with the seam, the seam might feel a little bit uncomfortable, but I mean, I don't really think that's, I mean, the grand scheme of things, uh, having a, a ribbed seam band on the bottom is, is not end of the world material, but the material is so soft. I really love it. I, yeah, I just really love it. If you guys have been keeping up with my hauls, then you will see that I stock up on random markdown colors in these. 
I just really like them. I just think that this is like one of the very few Lululemon bras as someone with a bigger cup size feels supported. And it's great side boob coverage as well, which is something that Lululemon really struggles with in their bras, like really struggles with. And I sometimes I just wanna like go to the design panel and um, like make these suggestions because Please, more side boob coverage is needed in the world. Thank you. Also, this is in Savannah and I'm kind of tempted. Okay, also rude, 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 rude. They did not come out with an ebb to train in summary. In summary, they did not come out with an ebb to train in summary. What? Mm. Okay, elite bra. So this is one of the more like quote unquote like I would say more traditional silhouette, like high support sports bras that Lulu has. My personal preference with sports bras is I don't really love the silhouette of a normal bra as a sports bra, if you know what I mean. But I mean, I've heard they're very supportive and the material is so soft and so nice. And this bra, as well as a couple others go by traditional bra sizing with your band and your cup size. And as of now, they go up to an E cup yeah definitely a good option if you're looking for something super supportive what's great about it now is a lot of the names seriously have what cup sizes they're made for and in the store the little educator tags in front of the bras will have what cup sizes they're made for which i just think was such a great a great addition because most people aren't going to go to a store and then sit down and like read each tag no one's got time for that Okay, free to be wild. Whenever I see this bra, I literally just think of all of like the high schoolers or like middle schoolers that come in. Like this is their bra. This is like their jam. Cute, strappy back, very light support. I don't think I could ever get away with ever wearing something like this. But if you do have a smaller cup size, looking for something light support, this one is very popular. Okay, the flow eye bra from earlier comes in a long line. Brilliant. Okay, ebb to street. So this is the same material as the ebb to train it's kind of like a seamless kind of ribbed kind of deal i actually am kind of surprised i haven't tried one of these on i think i kind of just see that it's light support and i'm like eh i'm all set but i mean originally i think it was just for a and b and then recently they came out with one for c and d cups so i, I guess i'm kind of indifferent about it i haven't really heard much about it but I'm honestly surprised I haven't tried one. Okay, yeah, yeah. See, they first came out with the AB and then they came out with the, the CD cup. Okay, the Stronger as one. I actually love this bra too. It, yeah, I actually love this bra. Like this reminds me like I should get a black one because I just need more like black stuff. I just get the most random markdown colors and then I go into my closet or do a Lululemon collection video. And I'm like, Ashley, why do you have so many random ass colors? What? So yeah. I really like this one similarly. Like I definitely think the construction of this one, I definitely feel supported. There's like no weird like bands or seams or anything. Pretty simple silhouette, high, high neck, long line. I kind of liked the back with the little cutout. It's, I still felt supported, but it's not anything like overly crazy. And I'm like, what's going on? So yeah, I actually really like this bra. I should get the black one now that I'm thinking about that. The free to be elevated. Oh, okay, this is like relatively newer. Yeah, go Lulu for coming out with more bras for bigger cup sizes, finally. The Run Times is another bra that literally, I almost guarantee you, you can always find a Run Times bra on Markdown in like random colors that they've been trying to get rid of for two years. So just like pro tip, if you don't care what color your bra is, shop in the Markdowns, try them out. And if you hate them, well then you didn't pay full price for them and you can move on with your life with some some comfort knowing that you didn't pay $68 for a bra. You're welcome. So yeah, again, this is just like another classic. You can crisscross the back if you want, or you can have straps like that. Traditional bra sizing, and then the elite bra as well. So the one thing I do wanna note though, like with something with the elite bra is I have had a lot of, a lot, I say a lot, I mean like three, maybe four, guests come in and since the bands aren't adjustable, over time, I guess they do give a little bit and then, you know, it's like a little stretched out. So that's just kind of something to note. Oh my gosh, especially if you're paying $108 for a bra, $108. Wow. Okay, so just keep that in note. Straps are not adjustable. And this one, and I think one of the other ones that I showed. So just note that, that I have had people come in saying that the 
straps kind of give over time and like stretch out and it's just not a fun time. Okay, Energy Bra High Neck Long Line. I had high hopes for this one because it had the high neck and it had the long line, but this one definitely not an incredible amount, but there is some side boobage, whereas the Ebb to, Ebb to Train and the Stronger as One Bra don't. So that's like my only concern with this one. I only have one and it's like a random ass tie dye one, but yeah, a little, like it like cuts, it just cuts in too much. Like just, just stop. And then this one literally is the material on the outside is a bit more abrasion resistant. Yeah, you can even see with this silhouette, like it just cuts in the front and it doesn't need to. Okay, more long line, long line. The Arise bra is kind of new. I kind of like it. I think it's, yeah, they came out with like a couple special editions for the holiday season. I honestly just like how simple it is. Again, I'm never really after something light support, but if I ever was, this might be an option. A random lab product. The leggings look interesting, but that bra is so tiny. And it's $88 for a bra. It'll go on markdown, guys, don't worry. All the lab stuff does. The Invigorate, oh, they, Lululemon had this one bra and I have one and I literally, it was my favorite before I started working for the company. And I think it was, it was called something like the Invigorate or maybe it was just an older version of the Invigorate, but it was like a high neck long line situation. That's when I was like first opened, opened the door to that kind of bra and I was like, wow, like my life makes sense again. Literally, I am just staring. This is black. I get it. But I wasn't too, too impressed with the shape of this bra. I don't know. I don't really hear many people talk about it. It's kind of there. Okay, so I don't have this specific random tie-dye one, but they had like a green yellow one, and I have that one. In case, in case you're wondering. Oh my goodness. I... $178? What do you do? Oh, it's like the hydration state. Be your own hydration station. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, see like literally, look at all of these ones on, on Markdown um, for the energy bra, free to be serene. This one is still on Markdown, limited sizing, but yeah, like literally if you do not care, most people don't really care what color their sports bra is unless you're doing like a whole matchy moment but if you don't care save your money get them on markdown so many of you guys have been just like leaving comments asking like my opinions on specific items and i love that i love responding to your guys's questions or people dm'd me over on instagram at coffee nuts so go check me out over there i post a lot more than just coffee i just do love coffee yeah, make sure to hit that big red subscribe button. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have the best week and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.